what we are doing is in the assessments as well. So I want to teach you for understanding. Okay. So thank you for joining. Is we, so we record the meeting so that I will share with everyone. I understand most people maybe you may not be able to join every time. I understand that. So you see that last week in the previous week. So this is not a lecture, it's an exercise, but just give background information. You see that we we were doing the Z scores uh, in the last week. So we use Z scores to standardize and locate um, um, a score. You can mute your mic um, for now. So we 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 use that to to identify the probability of obtaining a score, maybe of also identifying. So this small bills, I, I'm assuming that we all have textbooks, so you can have uh, you have access to this. And then I we can open your Padlet. You can see it in a bigger bigger font size as well. So we we we, we calculate the Z score using the the mean scores. Um, we use the standard deviation as well. Okay. So the score that we have obtained, the mean and the standard deviation. So, so we use that to calculate a Z score. You cannot identify a probability without a, without a Z score. Okay. And then you see in the probability chapters, there is a first section whereby it's a probability of 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 scores in a distribution. And then the other one is a probability of sample means so it's the same the scores are simple means so they they will tell you how many how many participants are in in that same in that in, in, in how many samples were they and and the participants and something like that that's the difference but what is important we are still using the z score formula to identify a probability and then sq is that but how do you know to use a tail body or between mean and a score okay um, let me just try to enlarge this so that you can see what I'm talking about. Um, so we, we have that in a padlet as we can open it. So let's say we get a Z score. So the first column is Z scores. And then the B is the proportion on the body in the tail. I'm going to explain that before we do the exercise quickly. So it's the same here. So this shading area is showing that. So so, so this is a normal distribution and then this is its score. So like I say, zero, one, two, three, four, and then minus one, minus two, something like that. And then we're in the Z score distribution, let's say the question say, what is the probability of obtaining a score more than three? I'm just saying three, let's say three is here. So more than three will be shaded of this side, meaning that the lesser of that is the tail. Okay, so the, the tail is in, let's say it's an animal or it's a cow the body is the bigger part, the tail is the smaller section where we are where we are interested in. But if the question is saying, what is the probability of obtaining a score less than three, meaning that the wall section like this, even below the mean or those scores, so is the bigger section of the distribution of this curve. So it's the body. So that is the difference. That's how you, you you, you calculate a z-score, let's say zero point whatever, but which one? So these proportions, 0.355, so we can convert into percentage. So let's say the probability of obtaining that score is 51%, or we can leave it like that. So usually if it's a proportion, it's just say um, in decimal places, like in decimal format form like this. But when the question is say, what is the probability, usually we proceed to to convert into percentage. So if you want to do that, you multiply by 100. Okay. But I'm going to show you two examples that I'm going to do quickly. What I'm explaining now, I think there's a video that I did in SECAP, those scripted videos. I think I explained that. I never watched that. Okay, I'm going to watch it tomorrow. Um, that video, one of the videos, but I explained that as well. And then in that video, and then I apologize for the sound that is there. But I, I was also explaining the same, the same. Watch, the, watch that video. And then when, when the question is asking you to identify what is the probability of obtaining a score between the mean and let's say the Z score that we've calculated is two. So meaning that this area between the mean and the, and the score. So meaning is this. So we use the last column for that, okay? So let's, we are, that's what I was talking about, but let's get into action. But how do we do that? So you calculate first, and then I say, don't forget that you cannot um, identify a proportion of probability without a Z score. So first thing you need to calculate a Z score. 
So that's why you need that formula for a Z score. Okay. Do you understand? Yes, double any. Okay, thank you. <coughs> Sorry, I've a cough a little bit. So that's what I was uh, explaining. So the questions, most of the questions, like what I've just said, you cannot calculate a Z score without the mean, the score, and the standard deviation. You cannot do that. So that's why we are, we are most of the time, are always given those scores. And then I also explain the relationship between the mean, the standard deviation, and the variance. Okay, but let me talk about that for now. So this is standard deviation, and then this is the mean. Uh, who was asking last week? Is it Florence? Oh, I forgot the name. Like, why are we not writing the aim? Why are we writing that? It's about the population and the, for the sample, we explain that. So a normal distribution is a mean of this and the standard deviation of this. For each of the following scores, indicate whether the body is to the right or to the left of the score and find the proportion of the distribution located in the body. Cool. So the, the, they want us to identify the bigger section of it. So we need to calculate the Z score for this first. Remember that the formula for Z for Z score is um, um, what's it again? X. Sorry, minus the mean divided, divided by, by the standard deviation. Distribution. Yes. So, yes. So meaning that sixty-four. Sorry, uh, minus sixty. I think they're going to do two only. The rest you do, guys divided by 16, okay. So what is 64 divided by 60? Uh, minus, yes. six, that's four, is it? Yeah. Four minus 16, what is the answer? 0 0.25. 0 0.25, so Z is 0 0.25. And then I'll show you where you get that from. Oops, let me cancel this. Posted earlier, where is it? Okay, this one. Let's, let's let up, not up, yes, like that. It's opening. Okay, so I want to check the 0 0.25 here. This one, is it? Do you see 0 0.25? Yeah. So it's Once, zero, zero, mm -hmm. 0, 0.1. These are the numbers for Z scores. So 0 0.25, 0 0.26, 0 point whatever, whatever. So this is 0 0.25. They are mm -hmm. asking us to identify the proportion of the body. So it's mm -hmm. 0.9. I can't see clearly. I can't see. It's mm. 5987. Okay, 9587. No, Gablani, it's 0 0.5987. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's fine. Let me just take my kiss. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. So what, what did you say? The so this is zero. So in the stand in the in the so this is the mean is zero. So it's 0 0.25 somewhere here. So let's say it's one, two, three. So 0 0.25 is somewhere here. So this line Eight. like this. So that's what it means. So they're asking us, so the body is you say it's 0 0.5987 yes this so meaning that this this whole section this is biggest this that's the probability of obtaining a mark less than 64. okay so the probability is nine point and i'm saying that that's the proportion actually if you want to convert into probability it's 59 percent point Eight to seven. So that's the answer. So zero point. You can say just point, like what they wrote. You said five. five nine eight seven. Yes, five nine eight. Without the zero, you can exclude the zero. Like that. That is the answer. And then I'm saying that if the, sometimes if the question say proportion, that's the, so when when we are dealing with 
the distribution of sample means the z score becomes z is equal to m minus the mean divided by standard error. So standard error is like this with an m at the bottom. And then the equation for that for standard error, sorry, my writing guys, is um, standard deviation divided by the square root of n. Okay. That is the reason we are given these, these n's. So that we need to calculate the standard error. So if you see a question like that, that is the reason that we're given. I think my, the battery for my is getting this color is not right also. Let's make it green. Okay. That is the that is the reason we are given these values. Okay, let's do uh, B. Okay. <clears throat> now let me change the color also. Red is fine, is it? Oh no, let's take this one. So, so this is the same z, but at the bottom, we don't have the standard deviation, but we have standard error because they are, we are considering the samples that are involved in a study. Okay. So for B, scores of standardized reading test fourth grade student for normal distribution with, with uh, the mean of 60, meaning that 60, 60, and then the with a greater with a sample greater than 65 and then i said b a sample of 25 students so what we need to do first is to to consider the standard deviation of 20 so the standard deviation is 20 so meaning that 20 divided by in a square root I said B is it 25, okay. So square root of 25 is five, is it? So 20 divided by five, okay. So five into 20, that's four, is it? 